Well, who takes the first stock? I think alongside that, really good edge guarding game from both these characters, and so I'm curious how they play that off stage play. Rather than some of the ledge trapping as much, though, Wolfie might opt for that a little bit more. Um, so it'll be interesting to see here. But already, Ice Knight, normally a high octane player, playing this very slow, acknowledging that tip for tat, just a little bit of damage at a time is going to be the important thing, especially against the Sonic. One of the things, though, against Sonic, right, as well, is shield can be really good to help alleviate certain spin dash pressure. Obviously, they have a bunch of mix-ups. Obviously, you don't get a punish off of it in those situations, but still just a good tool to have in your back pocket. Unfortunately, Queen Ninja just not having the best out-of-shield game in general and having to rely on more movement not only means that Sonic gets a power-up, but it means spin dash does as well, right? Because you just don't have a good counter to it. And... That's something to watch out for this set. If Wolfie can just force Ice Knight into shield, it might be the difference maker. Yeah, and look at this. The patience with the spin dash and able to get the homing attack after the pressure on the shield, as you mentioned. Such a good move. Finds the forward air, and already Wolfie up that first stock. And it literally was just right. He hit the move on shield. Suddenly, Ice Knight just couldn't get out of it. And so you're able to react to saying, hey, I know Gun Ninja is going to jump, which means I get the free spin dash, leads into the whole advantage state. Reverses to Legend, finds a stop. Beautiful pressure from him. And now, guess what, Yin? On the widest stage of the game, the Space Sonic has the most space to run away with those high platforms. You now have to chase him down. This game won, looking a little bit hard for Ice Knight. However, those Water Shurikens, if he can start to use them to force jumps out, create a little bit of space, and control the pace of the game, he does have a ways back in this one. Ooh, and Wolfie almost getting that stock with the back air. Ice Knight put on notice for this stock, but still really needs to find this stock if he wants to stay in this game. Wolfie been alive so far. Yeah, I, I like the jumps back and forth, but the back air, right, gonna use that arc, just cover space, threaten Sonic into a predictable route, line up the active hitbox to cover it. Beautiful stuff from Ice Knight, just playing the fundies game, but now, Yin, you're down to your last stock, so you can't just rely on those fundies. You need to find a little bit of cheese to get your a way to close the gap and crawl yourself back into this one. I will say, Sonic may be known for being a little bit slower paced character, but will be using all that speed to go ahead and keep this game aggressive as all could pray for. Amazing play so far. Finds the back air, go ahead, send him off the ledge, and look at that, even looking for the Nair to set off mm -hmm. off of the jump. But Ice Knight, reading that right with the air dodge as well is really smart to find his way out unfortunately it wasn't all the homing attack which is probably what he accepted there so he just wasn't able to find a punish however the neutral air opener was huge just not able to find the pickup though afterwards has a combo opener here this is that drag down situation you talked about but instead right just looking for the tech chase finding that oh drag down regardless of the plot and what Dude. a stock Greninja absolutely clean the utilization of those up air drag downs. Might be a little inconsistent at times, but you know what? Ice Knight knows the ins and outs of this character to go ahead and lead into that kill. And now, still got a shot in it if Wolfie starts to drop and play a little bit off, key, off kilter. And know what? Ice Knight, look at that. Gets almost able to find the down tilt just being a little bit off on that uh, that dash forward to it, get it. It looked like either he was looking for down tilt or a pratfall there, kind of just depending on on the situation, but just wasn't able to find either, wasn't able to quite make up his mind, and as you mentioned, just instead pushing his opponent out of the scenario entirely. I like the charge trigger to force high, because under the platform, right, you know that he's not going to come down and contest you, you know it's a low risk option. Unfortunately, though, you are going to get pressured off stage yourself on the reversal, finds the way out of the corner, though, and if you can at least reset neutral here, you still have a chance at this game, Yen. Yeah, and these back airs have been doing so much work for Wolfie, as they've had the reads on a lot of Ice Knight's jumps with the in neutral. Still, though, Look at that, Ice Knight switches up the timing. Wolfie thought they had the call out for the back air, but instead getting caught up themselves. Well, and now the Hydro Pump there almost just saved the entire game by pushing him far enough away to go high. But unfortunately, just the raw back air from center stage is going to do it. And that whole situation was so smart from Ice Knight too, because he drifted in right on the, yep. on the left side there, took the spring hit. He recognized his knockback was so high. His percent was so high, right? Knockback would put him into the into the wall uh, underneath PS2. However, he knows, hey, Spring's a really weak hitbox, so that tech isn't gonna send me that far. So I'm gonna miss it intentionally to put myself in the best possible situation to Hydro Pump. You never see people in Ultimate intentionally miss a wall tech. But Ice Knight with the heads up play there, and again, one of the coolest Dude. clips in the, of, the, of the whole tournament, my friend. Like, this stock barely also connects that gets the slight oh. underneath the plat underneath the ledge to get the down finding that underneath ledge is so huge too because even if you di in there right that's gonna find the two frame 
And yep. Ice Knight covered absolutely everything off that drag down, and now taking Sonic to a stage that, yeah, he likes, but Greninja is a character that actually can do a really good job contesting those spin dash cancels, right, where Sonic just jumps yep. across off that make FD so good for him, so Ice Knight liking it a lot here, too, and hopefully trying to make Game 2 go different on his counter pick. Yeah, that Water Shuriken, really good option as well to just check every now and again for Wolfie's aggression, but right now Wolfie going pretty unchecked on this aggression as they find that dash attack to reset the edge guard and ledge situation, and not quite able to get that two frame, but it's a very scary option that Ice Knight has to be aware of at all times. I like that Water Shuriken there to stall, but unfortunately just Wolfie ready for it, right, and able to find the pressure after the fact. That Shuriken not going where he wanted. Try to find a cheeky little stop a low percent with that Shadow Sneak, but still find his way back to stage. Now you force the low recovery move, but you're not able to set up the Hydro Pump angle, so you're just trying to find that ledge trap. Wolfie, though, has done such a good job being patient at ledge, right, and delaying his ways back on stage, allowing him to find these reversals, ledge traps, and these early stocks. So efficient. Yeah, and now even catching the tech option there with the Spin Dash, but... Ice Knight not quite able to find that down smash into the water daggers to get the kill. And now, getting caught up with a little bit more damage, the more extra credit Wolfie gets, the worse this is for Ice Knight, as at any moment, Wolfie can just secure stock very, very early. Yeah, and I mean, we might have cast, right, commentator cursed Ice Knight by saying, hey, he's the highest seeded player left, right? Yeah, on that's what we did side. the doorstop, too. Yeah, we didn't say it's a comment, though, and you know what, my friend, right? He is still here and and in winner's side, so this bracket looking better for him by the minute if Ice Knight goes down here, but this set's not over yet. The Battle of the Blue is coming out here, but that Miss Tech, huge opportunity that's gonna get passed up by Wolfie, and the reset to neutral here, giving Ice Knight the chance. He's still down a whole stock though, Yin. Now two! Dude, in this Animal Kingdom, hedgehogs are eating the frogs alive, as now Ice Knight on that final stock, and only 100%, this is not too bad at all for Wolfie. Thankfully, the, oh, you know, for Ice Knight, not inside of that Marthritis range. Also, very cool piece of tech there from Wolfie. He released the spin dash at the same time as he landed on the spring. So he got the spring sound. That's a, what a lot of players react to to get the hit to cover up high. And then just rolled off of it. He didn't even bounce at all. Now finding the pressure on the Hydro Bomb. He is locked into Ice Knight's route. His movement, everything. Ice Knight has not been able to get away and is getting smothered right now in a way that you really don't see a ton of Sonics do. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of signs of frustration from Ice Knight in the player cam. cam. But right as I say that, finds that stock very needed at this point as 77% on last stock. This is getting a little horrifying, but starting to lock down neutral a little bit more, but that homing attack, great burst option. Yeah, the D he got lucky with that DI break for sure from Wolfie, but now you're all the way out there again, Sonic, as you've talked about before, Yen, one of the best edge guarding games here in Smash, and just so much hard, right? For a character like Greninja, he still has to pick a linear route to find a way back without a hitbox. Back air, setting him up really hard, and now just holding the F smash, not quite able to find the uh, that one frame of punish window on the neutral get up. Now, Ice Knight here, like, starting to walk, right? starting to slow the pace of the game down, but it's not going to be enough. He's going to take the stock off the top, and Wolfie going up 2-0. Shades of the doorstop that Isaiah set, but remember, this is best of five territory, and remember the doorstop Isaiah as well, right? Going game five. Yep. So Ice Knight not out of this one yet, but things he we haven't seen from him, right, that are staples of Greninja's gameplay are F-Tilt, uh, which is really good against Sonic because it's one of Greninja's best tools, along with Ground and Shuriken, which we also haven't seen for stuffing out these spin dashes. We also haven't seen back air on falling aerials. We have not seen falling back air, drag down back air, or landing back air, which allows Greninja to set up for tech chases, find kill confirms, and really is one of his main pressure tools at any percent to set up de defense and walls. Those haven't been tools in Ice Knight's game plan in this set that are really hurting him because they directly answer what Wolfie has capitalized on as Sonic. Yeah, and I actually, surprisingly enough, love the PS2 pick for Ice Knight, rather than it being a character stage pick of like, oh, I'm worried about the big room because Sonic has a lot more space to play with and run away from. We've seen Wolfie this very aggressive player, so more space allows Ice Knight more room to set up shurikens, maybe even those F-tilts to shut out some of the aggression. And the high platform height right, allows Greninja to find such insane platform tech chases extensions that we saw in game one. We saw him look for again there, and now locking Sonic down in the corner. When you have a lead and do that, so 
your jump height as Greninja allows you to cover every Sonic Spring mix-up, and is, you're one of the few characters in the game that actually can really easily ledge trap this character. Yeah, and look at that though, up tilt, gonna go ahead and secure the kill with that water sword. Absolutely brutal move, but you know what? Wolfie firing right back and looking for the ledge kill here. Unable to secure it though. Yeah, my friend, that kunai right, might come out and fall on that forward air, but it is lethal. And now already the F tilt right coming out. We're seeing Ice Knight now pull out all the stops, start to control the ground with these shurikens, force out the aerial spin dash. There's a lot higher commitment, but then he Dude. neutral gets up. The second mental lapse in is going to send you all the way back down to where you came, and the lead you worked so hard to build is gone just like that. And now look at this. Wolfie actually slowing down the most I think we've seen him in the set so far, but it don't matter. Ice Knight getting right on through. 47% now, and the Water Shuriken just to put a little bit more pressure there. And uh, now, look at this. Ice Knight being the one to play evasive and defensive. And now, though, the dash is going to set up for the platform tech chase, right? This is what Ice Knight's been getting Wolfie with, but now he's getting caught with it in turn, trying to find a way back from the ledge, but finally able to do so. Wolfie's so efficient at those ledge traps, but really, this game, it's been the opposite situation. It's Ice Knight who's been the one locking down the ledge, and that's been the difference maker. Ooh, and the Kunai coming through, getting the kill, and now... Uh We've got a really good game for Ice Knight here and might be seeing another chance at a reverse 3-0. Yeah, right? This is just the start for these plays. 11 a.m. is early. You know, they woke up, they yep. traveled, they might have been a little tired. Full Bloom the Vibes tournament, so people were out having a good time last night. But the question is, how fast can they wake up when it matters most? The drag down and the jab just for the max damage there at low percent. So smart for Ice Knight, as he now has not only a stock, but 40 extra percent to work with. He just needs to find a way to, once again, lock down the inefficiency and pressure Wolfie to let him get back to stage again. Dude, I swear, being off stage against Wolfie gives me a panic attack, and I'm not even the one playing him, as Wolfie has been so aggressive out there, but Ice Knight doing a really good job. And look at that, the stall with the Water Shuriken to avoid the spin dash, but gets caught up with the homing attack. Yeah, I love that roll mix up there, right? The cross up. We haven't really seen it from Wolfie so far this set in those tech chase situations of so pulling it out to get out of dodge. The unfortunate, only the first hit of that up there coming out in. So now it's just the pressure. Er he is on Wolfie. He, he had his move not connect. He's now down, and he knows up 2-0. He just saw what happened with Doorstop, right? He doesn't want to put the pressure on himself like Isaiah. So he needs to find this one. He needs to find a way back in and find the stock fast. And that's the scary thing against these top-level players. Once you give them a little bit of a moment of momentum, it gets very nerve-wracking, but shutting it down, that back air kick, able to go ahead, bring it to last stock, to last stock, and now Wolfie needs to shut it down because if Ice Knight starts smelling it, and then you're talking about slowing it down, we're finally seeing the down air spin dash cancels, right? That Sonic does so well on defense come out. We didn't see them with a the lead where we normally do. We're seeing them in the last stock situation. We're seeing that pace of play mix up that Ice Knight very rare for him, has started to implement into his own game now, coming out from Wolfie, the adjustments are here, and now Ice Knight is starting to see that lead slip away, he thought he had a way back into the set on lock, but Yin, he might be running out of room. Just a little bit, but you know what, Ice Knight finding these dash attacks and not quite able to get as much damage or confirms as they would like, but still, no matter, play it nice and patient, you've got the lead, 2 minutes 30 seconds on the clock, play with that time. That's my friend, and trying to lead Wolfie in here, er, right, knowing, hey, I'm behind, but he's been playing aggressive. It doesn't look entirely like he's trying to camp me out, but right now, finally, the circle camp opportunity to take the advantage state. Now you just can do whatever you want here as you build up this percent lead just a little bit, but Greninja can catch Sonic, so you don't want to catch to camp them out as much as some of the rest of the guys. That shuriken is going to give him a chance back to stage, and he somehow found a way back by pulling out everything he had left in the back pocket. And now homing attack, opening it up. Wolfie keeping this momentum rolling. 124% on Ice Knight. This is really scary percent range. And Wolfie still only 85%. And not only being in this position as Ice Knight down 2-0, you know, you're about to, you might get upset here, but you had the lead pretty significantly in this game, right? The pressure could not be higher here at full bloom for him. And he, because of that, he's gonna try and find a cheeky land under platform Yin. It's not gonna work out. And we just, and Wolfie just, said, let's play some limbo. How low can I go? I'm gonna get down <laughs> underneath that aerial and cruise my way to a clean 3-0. The top players are falling in. The Midwest is showing you just why 
these players need more points. Mm -hmm. Lumi Rank, I know you guys did, you know, rework some stuff to help them out a little bit, but guys, you know, they might be a little slept on. I was gonna say <laughs> this event is a D tier at best, but look at the level of play we're seeing here in Top Cut Yin. This is a lot higher level play than a D tier tournament. These guys are cracked. They've got depth, and it's just a whole lot of space for one region, right? So it's got hard yep. for them, a lot of travel to get out everywhere. But look at the upsets, right? We've seen Wolfie 3 0, 3 -0 over Ice Knight in such immense pressure, too. When you're down that much in that third game, there's a lot of thoughts in your mind of like, if I drop this, this can go bad. And Isaiah had a lot of that same pressure too when they were able to get the upset over Doorstop where all of a sudden Doorstop was racking up momentum, tearing through Isaiah. And he just had to buckle down, cool down. And that's kind of been the storyline of these top seeds getting upset. And Yen, I don't know if you caught it too, that the end of that game, what happened, right? Ice Knight figured out the ledge trapping and, and suddenly was running away with the game. Yep. But all that happened was Wolfie said, hold on, wait, wait. I've got that more options. That going going back and forth. But I got a couple more, yeah, I got a couple more tricks in my pocket. So start, pulled them out, made a couple of adjustments, and the last couple edge guards, right, for him to claw that game back to even and then take it, were brutally efficient. And oh, yeah. Because 